So you know the drill, we are hanging pendants. We have chosen three, and the question to you is, what do we need to be thinking about when it comes to hanging these things? Structure first to make sure we can mount the boxes for the pendants. Okay, we want those up here in the ceiling over the pendants. So what is upstairs? Open attic. Well, that's good news, right? Perfect. Great access. Uh, so what else do we need to be thinking about? Power requirements. What are we gonna use to feed these with? Um, we've got a two gang switch here that we're gonna change out to a three gang, add a dimmer, for the three pendants over the countertop. First thing you do, of course, is turn the power off to the switches. Pull the switches out of the wall. At that point, it's a good time to go ahead and start marking your wires so you know exactly where you took them from. Now we just unhook the wires from the screws. Right here, these tabs, they're designed to hold the wires in place. What you have to do is bend the tabs out of the way so then you can just push the wires back on the wall. And we want a little bit of more room while we work, so we'll take the three gang box, we'll hold it up here, we'll mark it off. Before we install our three gang, we have to get a run of wire from here to the pendants. To do that, we've got to get a fish tape down the wall, tie the wire on, pull it up so we can connect it all. Right here, we see the wire going down to the switch. Simple, drill a hole right beside it. It's nice to have that first wire to help us locate the second one. Sure is. All right, pull it on up. Now this is the wire we ran from the attic down for our pendants is our switch leg. And inside this we have a black, which is the hot, a white, which is the neutral, and a bare here, which is the ground. Okay. Put your switch leg in first. We've got these marked, so just a simple matter of sticking them up in the box. So the old two gang box had these tabs on it so that a nail could be put through at a 45 to secure it to the two by four. That's not going to work for us in this retrofit here for the three ganger. How are you going to secure that, Chris? Just with standard drywall screws right through the side of the box into the stud. Now we just reconnect the two switches we took apart, following your labeling that you put on them. Line up your screws. Now you just simply screw this in place. and move on to the other switches. So Chris, we have two circuits coming into this box. One circuit goes to this switch and that is all wired up, so we're fine with that one. The other circuit, which comes right to this black hot right here, fed one fixture, but now we need this single black to feed two fixtures. How are we gonna do that? With pigtails. Two little short pieces of wire, hmm. bend hooks on them, strip them back, go ahead and attach them to your incoming single. Put a wire nut on that. Put it back in the box. While you're doing this, right now is a good time too to go ahead and take your hot for your other switch, feed it on over here. Sort of locate it? Yeah. And it's in place. So two existing switches rewired and now it's time to put in the third switch. In this case, we've chosen a dimmer. Right. All right, let's get to it. What we want to do is center these pendants over the peninsula. Okay. So what I've done is I've divided the countertop in half widthwise to find our center points there, and I have divided it into fourth lengthwise. Okay. That's where you see the three X's right here. So this is where the pendants will actually be on the ceiling? Yes. Okay. We will transfer these from the countertop to the ceiling using the plumb bob. Okay. So we'll know exactly where, where our pendants are going to go on the ceiling. Okay. Now I'll just drill a pilot hole through each of our marks. So it looks like you're putting at least two screws into each pancake box, and you've also put a uh, ground wire on each one of them, and then these connectors right here so that when you push the wire through, um, it won't pull back. Exactly. We've drilled through that top plate, so by code we have to seal that off with fire caulk. 
Now we need to run our switch leg into our first pancake box. You just push it in. Now we need to run one to our next box from our first box. Then we have one more to run from our second to our last box for our last pendant. I've stripped all the ends off of all the wires for the Romex. We've made our joints. Last thing is to hook the light to the Romex and then mount it to the box. Now all we have to do is fasten the canopy to the pancake box with the studs and the finish nuts supplied with the fixture. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, that is beautiful.